All right, what's going on, BTS family? So look, starting August 25th, we changed the channel from Florida Made Shine to BTS of Shine, you see what I'm saying? So we're going to be doing a lot of behind the scenes type of content on this channel, you see what I'm saying? As y'all seen, y'all probably already seen the title, so I ain't even got to explain no more, but look, if y'all do enjoy the video, make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe, make sure y'all comment what y'all want me to react to next, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, but I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with, with me. me. This oh, video, me. we're going to be speaking on Philly rapper YBC Duel and unfortunately how he was killed. Okay, so it makes sense because I've been seeing YBC all down my timeline today. So I felt the need to react to what was going on. And I just found out that boy Stunner, he from Broward, he just died today too. RIP to that boy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's been getting crazy, fam. Like, it's been getting real crazy. And y'all know August is my birthday month and a lot of people been dropping in August. I don't like that. That's that's bad for business. You see what I'm saying? That's bad for business for sure, for sure. Let's get right back into it. 24 hours. After bragging about being untouchable. Like, what? Hold on, fam. Why people get online and start bragging about being untouchable, boy? Who you think you is? Superman? Fam, you not Superman because you just got that Glock 19 Gen 5. And then they can get that same Glock 19 that you got, fam, and whack you with it. You see what I'm saying? My thing is, bro. Y'all be buying these guns, y'all be getting heavy artillery and just think y'all untouchable. Like y'all, I don't know who y'all be feeling like. Everybody is touchable, fam. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter who you is, you touchable. But yeah, y'all need to stop doing that though. No gun make you untouchable, fam. No amount of bodies make you untouchable. That's a disrespect for him. Go fuck who you is. That will disrespect you. I saw a documentary about you that said you're the most hated rapper in Philadelphia. Is that cap? You know that ain't no fucking bluff. I like that shit. Like, real niggas fuck with me. Like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city. Like, why do niggas brag like this, though? That just make a nigga want to, like, come touch you. Make a nigga want to just come rob you. Because you feel like you, you like that now. Because, I don't know. That's just trying to, like... It's putting it out there like, I don't know. I don't know, fam, because I don't know. Y'all know I ain't, you see what I'm saying? I ain't even going to get too much into that. Yet. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, but they are still working to find where yeah. the shooting happened. Sources ID him as Abdul Vix, a rapper known as YBC Duel, affiliated with the West Philadelphia Young Bag Chasers, or YBC Gang. Young Bag Chasers. Friday, August 23rd, 2024, police responded to the 5500 block of North 6th Street in North Philly just after 3.30 p.m. They locate a white SUV with multiple bullet holes, but no body. A nearby hospital would report a 25-year-old gunshot victim. He'd been shot multiple times through the chest and hand, driven to the hospital by a friend, and pronounced dead 25 minutes later. Yo, that's so crazy, long. though, fam. Like, he got, sh okay, yeah, he got shot in the chest. And he got shot in his hand, too, but it's people out here taking multiple shots fam and they they surviving that you know? and then they get shot in the hand and they just die like that's crazy behind junk though fam like if you actually think about it though that's some crazy behind junk though fam but rp to that boy man rp to that boy spread, that i don't know how i'll get online just bragging aka mr disrespectful just got killed viral for all the wrong reasons Duel lived up to his name and wouldn't disappoint, as any time he was on camera, he continuously dissed the dead mm. in the worst ways possible. Mm. Only a day before he was killed, YouTuber Brandon Buckingham would drop a documentary-style video titled The Most Hated Rapper in Philly. Mm. Brandon would cover Duel's original story. Oh, he's from Philly. Ties to the young Oh, he from Philly. He ain't even from from the rat or um St. Louis. I just thought he was from a rat or St. Louis because the house, the way that house was built. You see what I'm saying? Now Brandon would drag nuts through the trenches of Philly as he clearly risked his life vlogging with the city's top off in the most nonchalant way. Mm. Um, prospect of possibly getting shot just walking around make you nervous at all? Or, I mean, what's your thoughts on it? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You should be nervous, though, bro, because walking with me, a bad job. A week Not before fat. the documentary dropped, that's why. <laughs> Duel would drop a song called Mick Buckingham 
featuring Brandon. I don't want to say the wrong stuff. That's why I be like stopping myself from saying stuff. I be like, it's not even worth it, fam. I ain't gonna say it. Like, but even the title of the song is a diss in itself. Listening to Duel on No Jumper, Adam would ask about all the fast food and McDonald's references. My last question: Why are you always dumping out French fries? Because like niggas shouldn't be working at McDonald's. They should they should have worked at Chick Fil A or Wendy's or something like. That. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We ain't finna do that. Cause now I feel some type of way though, fam. Like, what's wrong with McDonald's? McDonald's my first job. You see what I'm saying? Like. I remember getting my first little check, seventy dollars. I was in the bathroom spreading that bit. You feel me? Seventy dollars. I was getting paid eight dollars an hour, fam. Like, and then they fired me on some. I ain't even gonna get into that either. But nothing wrong with no nine to five, fam. Y'all gotta stop listening to these influencers or celebrities telling y'all nine to fives. Is something wrong with nine to five? Nine to fives ain't no, ain't nothing wrong with no nine to five. Use nine to five as a stepping stone. You see what I'm saying? Take that little money right there and invest to your own little business. You see what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. You gotta finesse the game. McDonald's a bad job. Everybody go to McDonald's. Like you should, he should have worked there. So you had an enemy who got killed he working there or leaving there or something? Oh. He should have worked there because Kadoba or some somewhere where it wasn't Kadoba? a drive through. Yo, it's fam, what's crazy about Kadoba? Like I just, I just rocked Kadoba. It was like a little Chipotle joint. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Come to find out. 22-year-old Zaire Stafford was gunned down in December of 2023 by an elementary school. Zaire, who went by the name Booga, was the brother of CCK. Niggas Rappers. can't even work. They nine to five no more. Booga would be killed walking distance from the McDonald's he allegedly worked at, hence the McDonald's dissing. But Duel would take it a step further, dropping a song. But I ain't gonna count though. If you is in the streets, like, and you working a nine to five, that's kind of crazy. Only because, like he said, like you could have worked a little warehouse job, you see what I'm saying? Something low key. But you going to a place where everybody be at, you see what I'm saying? A whole little uh 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 gonna pull up there. Now they see it, you got face up there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, they gonna wait till your next time you clock in, twin. Oh, they own that. You a free kill. You see what I'm saying? That's just, that's just how they think. I ain't saying, like, you see what I'm saying? That's just how they think, though. Like, that's how they move. You gotta, you gotta be able to move. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to operate. A little bit different, yeah. Song titled Mick Buttons and McNuggets. The song would be the most demonic McDonald's commercial ever filmed, with Duel saying, Reddit would pretty much piece Whoa. Reddit would pretty much piece together the murder after all the clues Duel left. A legend Booga got off work and got killed walking home. But this wasn't a made-up conspiracy. Dual drop Mick Buttons and Mick Nuggets Part Two, and the opening line of the song was. Dual would continue to troll Booga's death, making multiple videos ordering Ooga Booga sauce. You want honey mustard barbecue sauce and sour? <laughs> I want the right. I want the Ooga Booga sauce. Nigga said the Ooga Booga sauce. I bet y'all won't take that order. <laughs> Look, she. You know what the Ooga Booga sauce is? You wanna know? I won't take your order and get out my drive through. Yeah, I got the Ooga Booga. So while Brandon was doing nothing more than his job, documenting an infamous Philly rapper, Duel would name the song Mick Buckingham, once again making another McDonald's reference, dissing Booga. But this wasn't the worst thing Duel had done by far. He posted to his Instagram story a video of a CCK member named Quay in a casket. And for obvious man. reasons, Why, uh, got a big ass smile on his face? He enjoyed what niggas bounced out on him? What he talking about? Showing the video on YouTube. 22-year-old Quadir Cheeks was ambushed. It happened on the 54 uh, Baltimore Avenue. Police say four men got out of the car and fired 43 shots at a man in his 20s. 43 shots? 12 bullets hit him? Hold on, nigga. The math ain't mathing. So y'all let off 43 shots. But 12 bullets only hit him. So where do you other bullets went at? You see what I'm saying? Y'all can't be out. I just been shooting just random bystanders. You see what I'm saying? Y'all got to make sure y'all hit y'all target. You feel me? 
43 shots, only hit 12. That's about like 20, 24% accuracy. YBC is allegedly responsible for killing multiple members of CCK, and they'd remind them by shooting C's in their videos. After Quay died, even Redditors were telling CCK to throw in the white flag. See, the war in Philly is nothing more than a game to the ones on Reddit, as 132 people actually voted on what they thought would happen next, with Duel being killed getting the least amount of votes. Mm. Only a month ago, Duel dropped Long Live Jeffrey Dahmer, featuring Chicago rapper Lil Scoom and Lil Jeff. Mm, RP that boy Lil Scoom. Lil Jeff was killed June 8th after attempting to murder someone and getting killed himself. 18 year old Lil Scoom was murdered July 7th and his shooter would fire at the police, successfully getting away. Dude would drop the they should, Hold on, they shot at the police too? But the fact that he was in a video with two demons. wasn't enough to keep him These from gotta be some young niggas though, fam. Like, no old rap nigga rap doing no junk like this. Within three months. Fam, they, all three of them died? All three rappers. I mean, I ain't surprised, cause that's what comes with drill rappers. Like, if y'all dissing the dead, fam, that's not no good luck, fam. You think you finna diss the dead and you, you not gonna be a part of that? You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. Like, what? Tripping. This would be murdered within three months. Duel's death was enough for Chicago's Lil Reese to make comment, and Philly's own Meek Mill would also I'm speak up. Yeah, since you curse your own, so stop that speaking on the dead. I haven't facts, like I haven't seen it work out yet. Facts, like why are y'all talking about the dead? Leave the dead to be dead or dead. That sounded so crazy. Let the dead rest. You see what I'm saying? Don't keep speaking on the dead. Dumb ass niggas. What? And again, speaking on the dead, but blood. Niggas be dissing the deads, but have deads. Makes any war too far gone, as duels ops have already started dissing, and it isn't hard to imagine why. No time now, to start as respectfully as I can say this, what you put out is, is what, what you, you receive. Nah, for sure. When Julio Fulio died, it wasn't really a surprise. It was just like, damn, damn like it, like it happened, like too. yeah. That's how I be. With and it be un unexpected it's too. Like, pfft, yeah, you know, it's hard to feel sympathetic for people when they kind of wish it upon themselves. You see what I'm saying? You can't, that you can't feel like no type of war, way. Whether in the streets, the military, whatever, and they just humbly, you know, do what they do. And then you have people that take it a step further. I think what happened with Duel is, like other people, he found a lot of attention from the crazier shit that he did. Mm. And what comes with that is, okay, well, I got to do more shit. Mm -hmm. This is to keep, this my, keep my name, news, yeah. Way more publicity. I got to keep, you see what I'm saying? I got to keep being disrespectful. Because look, the moment I stop being disrespectful, my my money and my views going down, twin. Oh, he respectful. Oh, he respectful now. Oh, he ain't missing disrespectful no more. I can't even take him serious. Why don't, why don't, you see what I'm saying? So you got to be more disrespectful. Keep this name. Keep this this image up. You see what I'm saying? So I feel it, but he could have went a different route with that bit of film. Like, if I just gossip. Keep standing on this, gossip the music. He got a lot of different growing. genres. Melodic. That's how he looked at it. This is my road to success. But at the same time, Football. Like I wanted to play football before I did wins. YouTube. Ahead of him was success. Behind him was something else. And like I was some raw shit at football though too. Like wide receiver, and nigga was not seeing me, fam. I know that's off topic, but I just had to. Cause I, I still be thinking about that. Like I had dreams to be a football player type thing. But. Seemed like he was driving in the other direction. He dug himself an early grave through his actions. And he's not the only one doing this. And I mean, we see this happen all the time, even with Lil Jeff. Lil Jeff allegedly killed how many people? They said, what, 10, 11? Mm. Like, this kid was 21 years old. Well, 11 bodies. Getting busy. 
to the point that that's pretty much all he was known for. His biggest song was after two kids got shot at a school and died on camera. So it's like what you put out is what, what you, you receive. receive for sure. And I'm not gonna act like a whole bunch of motherfuckers in Philly ain't about to go crazy over this shit. Nah, for everybody sure. pretty much knows that. That shit endless too, though, fam. Just like, it's gonna be a some of y'all will get the picture. See what I'm saying? It did. Some of y'all will stop acting like shit's a game, voting on Reddit for who the fuck you think is gonna win the war. And making bets on what you think is going to happen next. But let me know y'all's thoughts and comments in the comment section. I do want to point this out. I've seen some hate going towards Brandon Buckingham. He isn't doing anything wrong. The music video, you could say what you want to say, but he isn't in control of what Duel said in the song. He's just jumping on the video. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than if he linked up with Lil Dirt. And jumped on a song with Dirk. He had the opportunity and he took it. He's mm -hmm. not wrong for that. People are acting like he's somehow responsible because he made the documentary. I don't go for that at all. I fuck with his content. No, nah, so and, you um, can't. Cause that's like me saying, okay, you, you giving that man a platform. He chose to say what he said on that on that camera. You see what I'm saying? You can't tell him what to say and what not to say on that camera. You gonna get on there and say what you want to say. You a grown man at the end of the day. You feel me? Whatever you say on West College is gonna have action behind it. You see what I'm saying? If you gonna sit on there and say, "Oh, I'm the most disrespectful nigga on the on the planet," oh niggas gonna feel the type of way for sure. For sure, and gonna get busy with you for sure. For sure. Cause they gonna feel like, oh, who he feel like? He feel like he's Superman or something. Let me test his powers. You see what I'm saying? And unfortunately, they test his powers. Like, shit green, but it, it it's like what you expect, fam. You 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 see what I'm saying? R. P. To that boy though. If you want to be on camera? Whatever you do on camera is on you. The music was that hard. The fact that he documented it and posted it, it can't be held against him. They wanted to be on camera. You see what I'm saying? They wanted that image. You see what I'm saying? They got exactly what they asked for. You see what I'm saying? But hey, like I said, drop y'all's thoughts in the comment section. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all. If you rocking with me, you hear me? Till next time. Look at that.